the format of the robot. Hello. My name is Dustin Sheffer, and I like playing Roblox a lot. I find myself enjoyed in these games that the community has made because of how they are built. I mostly play Typical Colors 2 and Untitled Tag Game because of the fact that they are basically candy for my fingers. I first played Roblox ever since they added shirts and pants to the Avatar Shop, and needless to say I had quite the experience on the platform, not like it's a bad thing. Some of my favorite games growing up on this platform were work at a pizza place and sword fights on the heights because a lot of people were playing them at the time, and I like to meet up with new people. I actually had a Builders Club membership at the time, and the benefits from joining it made my younger self happy. I still play Roblox today because of the games the website has, but I really don't like the community today. It's just so unhealthy to look at sometimes, and I wish things would remain the same, but it's obvious that something good can last forever, and people are going to ruin the experience for you. For me, it didn't. I just kept on playing the games I played and ignored most of the community. Sometimes when I'm bored or something else happens, I usually do some random searching on Roblox-related topics. I personally like searching for lost media relating to the platform and some other stuff because it entertains me. Sometimes I can stumble upon an old game or sometimes I could stumble on something that I have never heard of before. Don't expect me to do this stuff often since I would only get bored on some occasions. So one time whilst I was playing Roblox, I got bored. It was obvious for me to search up something related with or to Roblox. I opened up a new tab, searched up the Roblox wiki, and began exploring the topics that the wiki had to offer. I went into the sections of the wiki, with a few new facts that I haven't heard of here and there. I then searched up some random games in the search bar, until I saw the game, Cracks in My Body. I decided that it was something interesting for me to check out. Instead of getting a description on the game, when the game was made, and or pictures of the game, it instead showed this sentence. This game is redacted. Speaking about this game on the internet or in real life will get you a life sentence in prison, and nobody knows why this is. I was very confused on the fact that a Roblox game can be redacted. I have seen some stuff on Roblox, such as realistic gore, but a redacted game was just confusion on another level. It wasn't content deleted nor content purged. For those of you who don't know what content purged means, it means when Roblox really doesn't want a certain thing on their site. It was redacted and even speaking a word about it will get you life in prison. I thought that this was some troll attempting to get fame by just thinking about some random title for a game and then posting about it on a wiki or it was just some joke made by the mods of the wiki. When I double checked the date, I saw that it was last updated 6 months ago, which means that it couldn't be a troll or a joke. It could actually be a legitimate game that was so bad that it was redacted. But even though I couldn't talk about the game, at least I would have a chance to play it. I then searched the name of the game upon Roblox and, to my surprise, the game actually showed up. I did not expect it to show up since I thought the game would be deleted since it was, well, redacted in the first place. I then clicked on the game, and then read the description, which was the following. John isn't the person who you think of. When reading the description, the first thing that came to mind was John Shedlevsky, one of the old Roblox employees. I don't know what connection he had to this redacted game, but I decided to play the game anyway to learn more secrets about what this game is about. I also read the date of when the game was created, which was in late 2006. I knew that I was in for a surprise, since the deeper you go into history the more mysterious things get, and this is from experience. When I joined the game, I saw a black and white version of the old haunted mansion, and the lighting of this game was dark. Apparently, I had no animations just like in 2006, but I think it's some sort of bug that may have been implemented into the game on purpose. There was no audio in the game, and when I mean no audio, I mean zero sound effects and music. It was just dead silence. The haunted mansion didn't have a hill leading up to it, it was replaced with a pathway, a four stud wide pathway. There were no trees nor was there a lake right beside it. 
I decided to enter the haunted mansion, and then a quiet beep played out of nowhere. I don't know what the purpose of the beat is for, but I feel like it was supposed to give some sense of dread. In the haunted mansion, there was no furniture inside, nor was the red room's text in the red room. It was instead replaced by, chalices. To me, chalices was a very random word to replace in the red room. There could be some meaning behind this, but I have no idea what meaning this could lead to. The stairs leading to the underground was there, but when going down the stairs it seemed like it was infinite. Only the staircase was there, placed in a black void. Some indescribable sounds played at a very low pitch. After about 20 or 25 minutes, I found a brown brick, the same height as my avatar. This door of some sorts was able to pass through, and behind that door was a tall, ominous figure at the end of the room. The room was a dark red, with a studded texture covering the walls, ceiling and floor. The figure had a grey torso and legs, with white arms and a white head. The closer I got to the figure, the crack located in his eye area got bigger, and it got smaller when I walked away from him. After a while, a text box appeared above him. It says, This eternity is forever dust in. How did it know my name? Where did this figure even come from in the first place? How is this even redacted? The figure then stood up and followed me, slowly. Ominously slowly. Some sort of scratching sound was playing, and it got louder when I walked towards the figure. When I tried to go to the door, it was just solid. The scratching sound was louder now, and I was getting more disturbed. I had no idea what happened when I touched the figure, but I thought that it would be a bad thing. The figure was getting closer, and closer, and closer. I couldn't even move at this point since the game wouldn't allow me, which made it more tense. I then touched the figure. Some loud sound of sorts played, and then I got kicked out of the game. I don't remember what the message said because of the fact that I quit the game so fast. I realized that there was a new notification in my messages in Mux, and it was from the creator of the game himself. Here was the message I got sent. Stop. Hello there. You have stumbled upon my chamber in where the worst of the worst is kept, secretly from the public eye. If you manage to unravel these secrets, then you will suffer eternal capture. The game itself wasn't redacted, but the secrets it kept were. How was this even possible to do in Roblox? How has this anonymous person not been caught yet? What was even the purpose of this game in the first place? All of the questions spun around in my head at the same time, and I was very confused on what just happened. I attempted to play the game again, and it was just a dark red base plate. There were sounds though, but they were only my footsteps. I was kicked out of the game just a few seconds later with no message. When I tried playing the game again, it wouldn't let me. So, I decided that I should just quit doing what I was doing and just play Roblox normally. I could attempt to get in contact with the owner of the game, but I really don't feel comfortable doing it because something horrid could happen to me. Obviously I would try to use an alt account to get in the game again, but I don't know what will happen next. Today I wanted to play the game again, this time I was gonna use an alt account. The game let me in, unsurprisingly because Roblox didn't have much protection back then. The game was different from when I last played it. It had the classic Roblox horror music playing in the background with a lower pitch and half the speed. The layout remained the same, until I got to the staircase. The staircase was closed, which meant that even if I and Copy locked the game it would prevent me from going to the staircase. When I went to the other side of the mansion, I saw a similar figure just sitting down. It had an all grey body and a crack that was on the eye area, with a white pupil in the middle of it. When I walked up to it, it said, Please get away from this hellhole of an asylum. I am not willing to undergo this anymore. This quote, for me, had some secrets that were revealed, but not the ones that were the worst of the worst. The figure then stood up, and then I was kicked from the game. It simply read, why? This is gonna be the last time, so far, that I'm gonna play this game. I might need to take a break so that I can get whatever happened through my playthroughs out of my mind. It would help me focus on other stuff too.